Okay, we had a request for another question and yeah, answer no, no, for me and whoa. him. And so, um, they put yeah. questions on Facebook, and now we're going to answer them. Okay, the first question is, what do y'all do to keep the spark alive in your marriage after all these years? We could work better at that. We could. Well, you know what the men want for a spark in the marriage, so that's not hard to figure out. But we that's one thing that we've been discussing that... Um, with the upcoming year, we could do better at, but make time for couple time, and we haven't really been doing a good job at that. Yeah, especially if you have kids, it's very Bye. important to make time for date nights. Go out to dinner and go see a movie or just go somewhere else where there's not your kids for a little while, because every once in a while you need a break to Get back to the way it was with just the Because you can you. lose yourselves in just going through the monotonous stuff of the day and forget that you're married and not just roommates. So, this coming year... Just by the way, you owe me rent. <laughs> I think I paid you. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, that's something we're going to work harder on in 2016 is to make more time for spark time. Okay, the next question is when y'all have a disagreement or an argument, how does it get usually get resolved? Um, we argue like cats and dogs. If people tell you they don't, they're lying. Yeah, for sure. If the way I look at it is if you're arguing, you still have passion for each other, you still care enough to fight for the relationship. But usually we have to talk through it, and there's going to be fussing and fighting, of course, but... I have to apologize for everything. Well, if it's your fault, you have to apologize. Mm, it's not my fault. No, I own up to when I'm being a, a witch. I own up to it, and I apologize, but the best thing you can do is just say you're sorry. If it's not that big of a deal, if it's over something stupid and trivial, just... Say you're sorry. Even if it may not be your fault, just say you're sorry and resolve it. Because if you really truly love each other, oh, crap doesn't matter anyway. Okay. What is the best advice y'all can give to couples trying to make things work? Time. Yeah. Make time for each other. Do the little things that show one another that you care. If you truly love each other, show the person you actually care. The littlest things mean the most. Yeah, you, you'd be surprised how much a nice, sweet text message means or a note under the pillow or <laughs> even picking up some toys now or, that's my favorite. Do or it, washing yeah. some dishes or something like that. Offering to help do something around the house or something, you know. Yeah. Just make time for each other and let each other know that you actually care. Small gestures go a long way. That's, that's my advice for that. Um, how does Matt show you he still cares and appreciates you after all these years of being together? Like we were just saying, small things. The one that really gets me is if he offers to do something around the house or... Take care of the kids so I can sleep in, which you haven't done in a while. That'd be nice. But no, like um, last Monday when I was going to get my hair done and all that, he put up, um, he straightened up the pantry and put some things in there that needed to be put in there, and that was like that stuff like that means a lot to me. So when he does like small things, like picking up around the house, that shows me he appreciates me and wants to help me. But also things like sweet text messages or emails or anything like that. I'm not a big gift person, so like I don't expect, gifts don't really excite me much. It's thing, things that don't cost money is how he shows he appreciates me and that's the stuff I like the most. Okay, next question. Matt, what is the best advice you can give to men who, to keep their woman happy? Pay attention to them. 
Um, I would say the best advice would be to listen. Um, Ollie, well, all she really wants to do most of the time is when she's upset or got something on her mind, she just wants somebody to listen and be there for her and help her through whatever's bothering her or whatever the situation may be. And take interest in things. And, and try to show some interest in what they are into even their if you, hobbies or even if you don't care i mean look he's making a video with me <laughs> <laughs> but honestly it's just listening and participation and just being there for for your lady your woman whatever it may take to show her that you care and that you're Aww. here for her not just here as a person and i'll add to it Dudes, you need to take interest in what they like, even if you don't give a rat's tail in about real world China. If they love it, you act like you like it, and then that'll make things a lot better. If you, I mean, call the midwife. Did you want to watch that? No, but he watched it with me, and we discussed it, and you know, just enjoyed it together. I so, can deliver a baby now, probably. <laughs> Take interest in what, I mean, it can go in both ways, though, not just for a woman. That's some more advice I'll add. Take interest in what each other like. He likes video games. I'm not too big into it, but I still take interest, and I'll ask him about what he's doing with it, and I pay attention most of the time to what he's talking about when it comes to that. So take interest in each other's hobbies. Like, he wasn't that too, too keen on YouTube and posting videos but here he is doing a video with me to support me and make me happy so that's some more advice okay what is one of y'all's favorite memories together um i think we talked about this one a little bit in our anniversary video but i think i speak for both of us when um our, some of our favorite memories are when we would stay at matt's house and we would just go to blockbuster back when that was a thing and get um, a bunch of movies and then go get Chinese or pizza or whatever. Just a bunch of really good food and go back to his house and watch movies and talk and laugh. and All night. All night, yeah. All night. That was like our favorite thing to do ever. And we're still like that. That's what we like to do now, too. That's what we're about to do when we're done with this. So. Yes. <laughs> okay, so next. What was the weirdest Christmas gift y'all got each other? I'm the weird one, so I ask for weird things. Um, so he he asked for the usual kind of crap, you know, video games, shows on DVD, that kind of thing. So none of his stuff's weird, but I think the weirdest thing you got, I guess, weird would be my zombie pop figures. If that's, I guess that's kind of what you mean. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We haven't really gotten anything in weird, like, I don't know, that's a, that's a hard question. Yeah, that's a hard one. That's a hard question, but I've never gotten him anything weird because he asked for boring stuff. I me. don't know, that, that Christmas sweater you wanted me to wear last year, that was pretty weird. What the hell are you talking about? The the Christmas sweater. You, the sweatshirt Will I Santa Claus? Yeah. You did wear it. I know I did wear it, again, going back to make them happy. But it was pretty weird. See, he's like too blah. Okay. <laughs> Next question. One word to describe a good life. Love. What's your one word? Mine is love because if it's love him, love my kids, love my family, love my friends, that's what makes my world go round. What is yours? Patience. Something you could use. It is something that I could work on more. But if you have good patience, not only can you be a good parent, but a good husband or wife and a good person. Just trust me, it takes patience. To deal with me? No. <laughs> now he's lying to appease me. Okay, next one. Another bit of good advice. Lie to appease. 
No, sir. You never lie to me. You tell me everything, even when it's not good. He tells me everything. I know. Quit. Don't touch my face. Okay. Um, how do you maintain a good relationship? This ties into all the other stuff that we've pretty much said, but we can't. We need to work on more time for each other. That's number one. Time for each other, especially when you have kids. Time together, date nights. Um, we could probably work more on putting the kids to bed before we go to bed and have just, even a date night isn't going somewhere. You make time at home. Have just that hour or two at night by yourselves would help a lot. Can I put you to bed too? He wants to be up by himself. So yeah, maintaining a good relationship Time with each other, understanding each other, appreciate each other. Showing interest in what each other likes and actually participating with it. Don't just say, Oh, okay. Yeah, I like that and that's cool and that's neat, but actually show interest and try to get involved, even if it's not something that you necessarily like or used to. But a lot of the times couples have a lot in common but they also have a lot of differences and that's fine and it and right which is fine everybody's different but it's those differences that you want to try to bring to a an equal yeah what are some things in both of your opinions on what couples should do to still have fun as a couple but also include kids it probably really depends on what y'all like to do for fun as a couple us, we like to watch movies, eat good food, and that's that's relatively easy to include the kids in. So, but you could go to the movies or go to an arcade or um, anything like that. We enjoy doing, and it's not hard to really incorporate the kids into any of that. Yeah. So basically, spending time as a couple with the kids usually turns into doing what the kids want to do but as long as you're enjoying each other's company while you're doing it i think that's what's important okay okay the last thing says matt can i borrow karma for a girl's day she is a good person in which i need in my life please i'm kidding, I'm kidding. But that is all the questions. I hope you answer them good enough for you. Hopefully. I'm glad that somebody takes interest in our in us because I think we're pretty boring, so No. But anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.